Hi guys, Dave with First Place Auto Parts. We're out in the shop today, and you know, when it comes time to upgrading the brake system on your classic American muscle car or truck, you got some options. In today's video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at the options you have when it comes time to applying power to your disc brake conversion kit. Look, it used to be that vehicles came factory in stock with vacuum power brakes. They were vacuum assist. Today, we have the option to upgrade or change to something called Hydro Boost. What's the difference, how do they operate, and what are some of the advantages of each? That's what we're gonna to address today in today's video. So why don't you stay tuned, let's find out more about how the vacuum and the Hydro Boost differ, whether they're the same, and which one's right for your project. Hey guys, if you liked today's video, please consider subscribing to the First Place Auto Parts YouTube channel. We're going to continually be adding new videos every week where we show you how to put new parts on. We take a look at the latest parts that are available and we go to some pretty cool car guy stuff. I'm pretty sure you're going to want to see. So really when we're talking about converting to a power brake system or upgrading a power brake system, we're talking about two things. The first thing is packaging and the other is the adaptability. The first thing we're going to take a look at in this video is the packaging and side by side you can tell there's a marked difference in the amount of real estate these things take up in the firewall. This unit right here, this vacuum assist unit from the front of the master cylinder all the way to where it mounts the firewall is 14 and a quarter inches. The Hydro Boost unit has the same dimensions from the front of the master cylinder to its mounting plate, again 14 and a quarter inches, but when you look at these two side by side. The booster itself, especially with the vacuum can on this thing, and it's CAD plated, becomes painfully obvious. This is a large unit. Where this comes in the critical dimensions is, say you have a big block Chevrolet and a first generation Camaro, the valve cover to booster clearance can get very tight. Matter of fact, it can get so tight that you can't get those valve covers off after you've installed your brake system. So it's something to think about. The Hydro Boost unit, look, if this thing was, uh, say, a middle-aged guy, the belly of this thing's really big, the belly on this thing is really tight and small. Overall dimensions on a Hydro Boost unit is much smaller than the vacuum canister on the vacuum assist. Yes, you're gonna have some hydraulic lines that get plumbed into this thing, come from your power steering box and also your power steering pump, but overall the dimensions on this thing are much tighter. The reservoir on this Hydro Boost is a small can down here. Again, this thing fits in an area where this thing just can't. So packaging is a big deal. This ends up being a little bit cleaner and it's a little less flashy, right? This big CAD plated can tends to really stick out. It looks factory correct if you're doing a restoration. However, Hydro Boost gives you options, whether you wanna transplant engines or you just wanna clean up the firewall that you don't have with a vacuum assist power brake kit. And then there's a consideration of adaptability. Look, a lot of our cars are not stock anymore. We've made some modifications. Maybe it's a different engine or maybe it's something as simple as a camshaft. But what it creates is some issues, not only for fitment, but also for vacuum. Look, if you've got a rowdy engine, something that's pulling less than 14 inches of vacuum, and if you should always use a vacuum gauge, before you consider, or if you're considering of which one of these things to go to, go check your car, go find a, a full-time vacuum port on your either your carburetor or your intake manifold and read how much vacuum you have. This will actually be one of the things that helps determine which one of these brake systems or which one of these power units is right for your vehicle. If you're pulling less than 14 inches of vacuum at idle, in gear, if you're an automatic car, you're not gonna have enough vacuum to power this thing to keep it continually refreshed with va enough vacuum to make your brakes work appropriately. For the, the vacuum assist type unit, if you don't have 14 inches or more of vacuum, typically what you're gonna to have to plumb into it is some sort of a vacuum pump, right? This pump will actually make the vacuum that your engine doesn't, but these things tend to be a little noisy and it's just one more thing to mount under the hood. So if your engine is something that is, is fairly aggressive, this, this power booster probably isn't the right one for you. Hydro Boost, really all you have to have is power steering pump and you've got what you need to power a Hydro Boost unit. This thing plumbs in line of the pump in between the pump and the actual power steering. So if the car is running, this thing is making boost for you. 
The hydro boost unit is going to be a lot less complex when you start to get into some combinations that require either more vacuum or a combination that doesn't have enough vacuum. So hydro boost really fills the void and gives you options not only for the car and the build you have now, but maybe the powertrain you want to build later. This thing is more adaptable than what the power assist will be, unit will be. So really the decision on which one of these units you use to either build or upgrade your brake system for your classic American muscle car or truck comes down to two things. And the first thing is the intent of your build. And by that I simply mean, are you building a nut and bolt restoration? Are you trying to keep your car as factory correct as possible? If that's the case, look, you really don't have any choice in that matter. This vacuum canister, this vacuum booster is going to be what's right for your vehicle. At First Place Auto Parts, we offer you options when it comes to this vacuum booster. Look, you can get this full-size 12-inch booster that's CAD plated and has the correct factory Delco Moraine stamped into the cover and bolted to your firewall and look like it did when it came from the factory. We do offer some smaller boosters, the 8 and 9-inch boosters, which help with the clearance issues a little bit. We offer them polished or unpolished, but you have some options when it comes to this. But if you're building a factory correct restoration, this is going to be your option. It's really your only option. However, if you're not doing a full restoration or maybe you just want to upgrade the feel of the brakes that you currently have, or you're doing a whole different brake system, including a new powertrain, and you need the room, then Hydro Boost is going to be your choice. Look, this thing is simple, it's compact, and it's modern. It's very robust. This this unit, these hydro boost units, these things will stop your 3,600 pound or 3,800 pound muscle car just fine. Guys, I appreciate you watching this video. And if you have any questions at all, I'm going to include links in the description of this video for not only the hydro boost, but the vacuum brakes that we have and also the, the vacuum pump that we offer as well for you guys that want to go with this vacuum canister but need a little bit of help. We have all those parts you need at First Place Auto Parts. I appreciate you watching this video. And until next time, keep the hammer down and keep it between the guardrails.